Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Adobe Live and the Adobe Express Masterclass. How is everyone doing? Hello, hi Sean, hi Wade, welcome to the stream. Hi Viola. Um, who else do we have in here? We have CJ in here, hi Derek. Hello, welcome to the stream today. Um, so for today's class, I am super excited. Um, we are doing some Instagram reels and, uh, um, not doing Instagram reels. Sorry. <laughs> Let me back up. <laughs> we are making custom text and graphics to put on top of your Instagram reels, um, or stories or TikToks, really any, really any video, honestly. <laughs> um, but these are perfect for if you want to level up your Instagram like stories and reels because you know sometimes um, like the gifts that are Im embedded in the app like the gifts and stickers that are offered in the app you know sometimes just aren't really doing it for you and this is great for if you want to have your stories and your reels be more on brand um, and it's just super awesome and creative honestly. Um, hi, Alessandra. Welcome to the stream. Said my name perfectly. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love saying names perfectly. Awesome. Um, but yeah, if we're just meeting, if this is the first time you're seeing me on your screen today. Um, <laughs> hello, my name is Katrina Trijos. I am the Adobe Express evangelist. Um, and I'm also a content creator, uh, specifically for um, a video creator on YouTube. And I'm also a live streamer on Twitch. Um, and yeah and it's so great to meet you all i'm also your teacher for today's master class hi barbara welcome to the stream how is it going uh gosh we have so many people in chat today hello hi mutawaki welcome to the stream i think i said your name right mutawaki mutawakil please correct me um but yeah so with that i am going to hop on over to my screen we are again in Katrina and Adobe Express Masterclass Fashion. We are very ambitious today. We have quite a bit <laughs> of um, things to make. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, so for a lot of the stickers that I make for my Instagram stories and reels, um, I typically use the Instagram post um, dimensions. They are, it is 1080 by 1080 pixels, um, but you can totally use any canvas size you want, depending on how big the stick you want, sticker you want. Um, and for me, I personally like to go a little bit bigger than normal because when you like stretch it out, um, like when you zoom it in or like make it small, um, it doesn't like get pixelated or anything like that. So I just like to overshoot a little bit, um, even though, you know, we're, creating for like a small, small screen today. So, um, just to be safe. Okay. So our mission for today is to create a couple different kinds of, uh, popular reels stickers. Um, so we're going to do two that are like more text based, two that are more image and like more design assets based. And then we're going to create from two templates. So there are different ways to go about this today. Um, but starting off with the text-based ones because I think they are just the most, e the, they are more easier to make. Um, so starting off with this blank canvas, we are going to change the background a bit. Um, let's make it a tiny bit darker. And this is just so we can see like what we're working with. The class, so interesting, nice to meet you here today. Yes, thank you. Thank you for being here today. Um, okay, so first things, First, we are going to um, start off with some text. And the great thing about this is that when you use, when you open the text tab, we have so many different text like layouts and lockups and stuff. You can totally use any of these to make your little um, text sticker. Um, and all you have to do is just change what it says and change up the colors and then you're pretty much done. You can turn any of these into a custom sticker. Um, but we are going to start from scratch today. And this one I've seen a lot. Have y'all seen the mini vlogs on Reels? Um, those are personally one of my favorite things to watch and I'll sit through it um, on Reels because I don't know, just seeing how like people like go about their day and or, or like if they're on a trip or something, just seeing like quick, like a quick edit. I just think it's super fun. So this one's really simple. I've seen people just say like, 
mini vlog or something like that and then we'll just leave it like so and then we're gonna take a simple line shape here and then we're going to go and put it in here and we're just going to leave that there we're just gonna slap it all together and then we'll make it look nice <laughs> um, and then we're gonna take another piece of text gonna add it and then it's gonna say something like um, what's what's a common one a day in my life something like that um, now of course you can change this up to make it say anything you want um, so it doesn't even have to say like um, mini vlog or something like that it could say like travel vlog or something like that um, and instead of a day in my life it could you could even be more specific with it um, I find like if you switch out the text a little bit like still keep the same um, template but just change out the text it's a great way to stay cohesive especially if you are if you have like a brand identity and you want all of your reels and stuff to look the same and on brand um, so we're just going to adjust the sizing here again like another tip that I have when creating stickers is to do not be shy about creating all the way like to the edge of the canvas honestly the bigger your design is the better for you know when you are putting it on top of your reels because you just keep that high quality um and we don't want <laughs> we don't want your um sticker be to be too small so even though it'll look like too big on this canvas Trust me, it is gonna be perfect. So something like this, and then let's just change it up. Let's add our branded elements. So we're going to go to my brand font, and then we're going to click on this one and make it my secondary. Um, let's make it regular. And then let's also actually space it out a little bit. There you go. And we're going to move it down. And then I'm going to make it this off white color, which is one of my brand colors. And there you go. So this is looking pretty good. And again, you can change it and all that stuff. But I see this layout so many times. I've seen this layout so many times on every single like mini vlog style or like a camera roll or photo dump, my life in stories types of videos. And I just think it's a really awesome, simple, versatile um, design that it's not too distracting um, and it's not... You know, and it gets to the point, really. And I love a good <laughs> Instagram, like, sticker or, like, um, text lockup that does not interfere with the video. Because I've seen so many text, like, stickers and blocks that kind of distract away from the content. And I think this is just perfect. Especially since um, um, choosing, like, a more muted color um, is great. Um, and then also on Instagram Reels and Story stories too I believe you can adjust the time of the sticker so like if you don't want it on the whole time you can change like when you want it on and when you want it off um, so it is great hi Nico welcome to the stream how's it going today okay so now we are going to move on to the next sticker which will be another text one and it'll be honestly very similar to this um, but this is just another way to position it um, not saying that it's early to start thinking about New Year's, but <laughs> start collecting your footage today for when it is the end of the year and you want to do kind of like a look back. Um, this is kind of like what I've done in the uh, for last year, too. Um, I did like a 2022 like camera roll look back kind of thing. So similar to this layout, but adding... Um, just one honestly 
um, simple change is just changing. Let's just change up the letter spacing. So they'll still say 2022. We're gonna get rid of this line here. And then if you know you want something a little bit with a little bit more pizzazz, you can easily add a separator that's you know a little bit more creative. You can add a design asset, maybe a paint stroke or something. Um, whatever you want to do to make this a bit more creative. And for me, that looks like a squiggly line. You know, it looks different for everybody. So you're just gonna put that there, put that there, and then this can say like camera roll too early. Never, I'm already on next year's Halloween, yes! Uh, Nika says, oh my God, next year's stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I know we're in we're in September already. Can you believe it? I always get a little bit anxious towards the end of the year because I just feel like once summer's over, the year just flies by. Like it's just it's it's crazy. It's always the same season. Fall just always just flies by and then all of a sudden it's winter and I'm like, "Oh my god." And the next thing you know, we're going to be talking about Holiday streams. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't want to believe it. I know. Yeah, but I'm so excited because the end of the year, it's always like really, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of like really awesome holidays at the end of the year. Um, like Halloween, for example. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. And I feel like with Adobe Live and stuff, when we start getting into like the seasonal streams, um, it's just gonna be crazy. Okay, so here we have the second text layout, um, and this is pretty good. And I feel like you can also um, level this up a little bit by adding text effects. Like if this is a little bit too plain for you, you can always add like simple things like a drop shadow to make it um, pop out a little bit more. Like, let's change, let's actually change this color to, no, wait, not that one, cannot see contrast. Okay, um, so we can see the drop shadow here, so you can see what it'll look like. Let's add another one. You can do it in a different color or something like that. Or if you wanted to add like a drop shadow to this, all you have to do is just duplicate it and then like offset it just a little bit and then taking the bottom layer. Oh, you know, I'm gonna do it this way. Taking the bottom layer and then changing the color, something like that. Just these really, I just feel like adding these really small effects make a huge difference and a huge impact on what, um, really any text-based design will look like, you know? Like sometimes I'll look at a design and I'm just like, there's something missing, <laughs> you know? Um, and then really it is just, you know, adding something simple like a drop shadow or an outline or something like that. So, but yeah, if we're looking at the two next to each other, two different looks or two similar looks, but one is significantly different. Cool, okay, so those are the text-based stickers. Now we're gonna move on to more image-based. So next, we are going to duplicate, or should we duplicate? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna duplicate the page, and then we're just gonna get rid of these. Um, and then I think I still use the same font, so I'm going to just untoggle the shadow. And then, I'm going to add in a little shape here. Oh, the smiley face, can't go wrong with a smiley face. Um, and we're just going to put it in the middle. And then I kind of want to put like something kind of fun, something very like Gen Z-esque. And uh, we're just going to put like a nice message, like, like have a nice day. Um, and then I am going to put this in the curved text and we're gonna put it around the smiley face. I think it'll just look super fun. 
So just gonna make this big. Actually, let's leave it off to the side for a little bit. Let's size this smiley face first. <laughs> Strolling in with a pumpkin spice and sporting Halloween leggings. Yes! <clears throat> oh my gosh. The pumpkin spice debate. Have y'all ever... I'm, I'm guessing, you know, a lot of people in here have probably tried pumpkin spice lattes, right? I have actually never tried a pumpkin spice latte. And can someone fill me in on <laughs> what it's like? Maybe I'll get one this year. I always think about getting one every year, but uh, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I, but it's weird because I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie. I'll eat that. Um, okay, so we have the words, the smiley face. I think the smiley face is a little bit too big, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. Um, for the text, I kind of want it to be a little bit smaller, but I don't want to like, you know, how the words kind of scale with the size. So one way, if you're encountering this problem, um, one way to fix this is to just put in the message twice and then it makes like the letter smaller and I don't know I, it's for me it's a little easier to read because wh no matter how you're reading it you know I just feel like it's like people get like a second chance to read what the sentence says because it says it twice and then if you of course add another one you know the words get smaller again so it really depends on your preference um but I think I'm only needed oh did I do something wrong I did something wrong. Come back here. Okay. I am going to only have it say it twice. <clears throat> I've never had a latte. Oh my gosh, Blizz. I love lattes. Lattes are fancy coffee. <laughs> um, lattes are good. Regular ones. Okay. Everyone in chat, random question. Random question of the day. We should make this a thing. Um, what is your coffee or tea order? Or drink order. If you don't drink coffee or tea, if you like smoothies, a drink that you commonly get, <laughs> um, what is your drink order? Like if I were to go out and do a drink run for everyone in chat today, what would it be? That's a really fun question. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good job, Katrina. <laughs> okay. Um, so this looks, I think this looks pretty good. Um, now we're going to change the colors to have it be on brand. We love having the brand kit. Honestly, <clears throat> I've been teaching a lot of branding workshops um, and like um, brand, like brand kit tutorials. Um, lately and <laughs> I've just I have a new appreciation for the brand kit mostly because of just the convenience factor of it of having all of your assets literally at the top of the list um, when you're going through and creating stuff um, because you know I I am just prone to endless scrolling and spending most of my time working just scrolling through different fonts, different um, colors, assets, and all that stuff. But I feel like that's where a lot of the decision fatigue comes from and like why some folks find it really hard to stay consistent on social media because it's a lot, a lot of decisions and a lot of, you know, especially creative decisions when making stuff like this. So by having like your logos right here, your um, brand fonts right at the top, and stuff and then like your brand colors just <clears throat> just right you know right the first thing you see it's like it's one thing it's one less thing that you have to do and have to worry about so I love that okay drinks okay drink orders everybody drink orders let's go bliss said I'm a tea drinker yes what kind of tea here in NC I like flat white coffee but that is much like a latte tea strong black tea blended with smoky lapsung suchan <laughs> Sounds so good. Um, it was salted caramel mocha, but they don't make it anymore. Oh, no. Black tea mixed with jasmine, pearls, and honey. Oh, so good. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. 
Let's see, I think this looks pretty good. Let me actually darken the background a little bit. It's a little hard for me to see, okay. Yes, this looks cute. Okay, so yeah, so here's one style of um, stickers that I, or custom, what, what is the name of the stream? Custom graphics, custom text, custom graphics. What did I call the stream again? <laughs> but really we are making like transparent stickers to put on top of your story. So I'm gonna be calling them stickers throughout the stream. So sorry for the inconsistency, but this is a gr another great example of a sticker that I see a lot on Instagram um, where there will be like a shape or something and then words wrapping around it. So honestly, you don't have to use a smiley face. You can use stars, sparkles, a rainbow. You can use any random shapes, something from Disney. I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> um, some flowers does not matter at all. Your logo also, your logo would be great here too. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to move on to another image based um, sticker and we're getting a little bit more complicated now. Um, oh, more drinks, more drinks. Um, drink orders, we're making a run. Yes, I am doing a virtual run for everyone in chat. <laughs> uh, it's divine black tea with a little sugar, just enough to keep me on my toes. Yes, chocolate macadamia nut brevet. Oh, uh, from Dutch Bros or blue moon tea with extra honey. I love that. Oh, Biola said I called it custom graphics, okay. Love that. <laughs> Billy, is that tea or coffee? That's so funny. LOL, it's tequila. Yes, it is five o'clock somewhere. Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so moving on to this next sticker. Okay, I'm on the right page. We're going to, we're getting a little fancy now. And this is probably my most favorite sticker to make. And I really want to make this into a template. And I also want to have one of my goals as your Adobe Express evangelist is to have a line, like a sticker line <laughs> of public. Uh, I'll make, I wanna make public like templates that y'all can use. And it's just a bunch of these stickers in the library that y'all can remix for free and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so that's one, one of my dreams that I'm working on. Um, what am I doing today? I am going to delete this. Okay, we're gonna start from scratch. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. So we're going to start off from a photo, like an actual photo. <laughs> um, and I'm a big fan of memeing myself. I love making fun of myself. I love sending my facial expressions as like reactions. Um, I don't know if y'all are catching what I'm talking about, but like sometimes I'll, someone will send me a text and I'll, I'll send like a picture of my face going like, Ugh, or like, you know, something, a funny face. And I just think it's so fun and it adds so much personality. So we're gonna go into Lightroom today and I'm going to dig up a really old photo from, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? From Los Angeles, here we go. This, this photo was actually taken one day, I think, a day before Max 2019. So this was a while ago and me and my coworker were just going like walking around Melrose taking cute pictures and stuff. Oh, here's my drink order. I am a matcha girl, matcha latte with a soy milk. But if they don't have soy milk, I will take oat milk or almond milk. It doesn't matter. Just your girl is sensitive to that dairy. So, <laughs> okay. So we have this nice picture of me sipping some tea and that it, that was the inspiration for the sticker. Okay, because your girl likes to sip some tea. So we are going to just remove the background. I love it. Um, Erin said, I do flat white with honey now. Heck yes. Um, <laughs> I love that. Hi, Jack. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Hi, uh, is this Tamar? How do you say your name? Tamar? Hello, Tamar. Welcome to the stream. I would like half and half for my tea. Yes. Bliss said I love matcha too. Awesome. Okay, so sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so background's gone. We love it. Don't need to erase or restore anything. Pretty spot on. Love it. And then now we're just going to crop it. So it's just my, oh, sorry. We're gonna select free form and then we're going to crop it to about like 
probably underneath my elbow. And then we're just going to make this kind of big, a little bit, something, something can, something like this. Um, okay. This looks pretty good. Sorry, it's just, it's silly. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to add some text around it and say, <laughs> sips tea. <laughs> so if someone says something spicy to me, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, hmm, wow. I'm just gonna sit over here and sip some tea, okay. Sips tea. You spelled my name right, that's awesome. Not everyone gets on the first try. Uh, Tamar, Did, so I said it right? Love that. It's because I knew, I knew a Tamar. So I kind of cheated. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go back to my brand font. Let's do bold. And then I am going to do an upwards curve around my head, something like that. And then I'm just going to size it. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe adjust the letter spacing a bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks good. This looks pretty good. And then now I am going to, actually, let's switch it up. Let's switch up the font. I use my brand fonts all the time. I kind of want to do something a little different. You know what? I don't know what font to use. Let me use the font recommendations. Okay, so we have a bunch here. Oh my gosh, this makes it so much easier to visualize. Sips tea. Sips tea. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. Sips tea. Ah. I think I'm really liking this one. But it's not very like meme, you know? It's kind of like I'm trying to make a logo. <laughs> Let's see. We could do the chonkier font. I think that would be fun. Subtle, but I think it's fun. Okay. So we'll do that, and then I'm going to add in some shapes. Um, let's do, I wanna add in some sparkle because it is one of my brand imagery things. Um, and also I do that thing where if it's an action, <laughs> I'll put like the asterisks or the stars to add emphasis or to like show, <laughs> you know, uh, it's a differentiator. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to add this and then we're gonna put one here, but we're gonna flip it, right? Is that the right way? This way. Yeah, this way. And then we're just going to line it up with the A and just make sure it looks even. And that looks pretty good. Let's zoom out a little bit. I just kind of want to see what it looks like a bit small. Okay, I love that. And then so another, ooh, hello. Um, <laughs> so another tip that I also have is, let's say like when you're cutting out an image like this and you do you ever experience that thing, this, do you ever experience this thing where if you put like one of, uh, like another photo on top of like a video or something like that, you can't, it's kind of hard to see, like your eyes kind of strain a little bit to like make out what the still image is. One way to make like the photo, like your photo pop out more from like whatever busy background is happening um, underneath it is to add like the white stroke around. Um, 
what's it called the cutout and then so I'm going to show you all how to kind of create that same effect because you can only the only strokes I mean yeah the only assets that have strokes right now are the basic shapes um, but to add one around like a, let's say a photo is to duplicate the photo twice right and then um, taking the top layer let's bring it back here um, we are going to make the bottom two layers completely white just by adding um, the duotone filter so this is how a lot of folks change the colors of certain design assets so if you're ever wondering that like how do people get different colored flowers or something like that they're using the duotone filter and then just changing up the colors so we're going to set both layers to the duotone filter <clears throat> and of course you could do any color you do not have to do white if like you know if your photo looks better with like a solid pink outline or something like that um, then go for it and then so what we're going to do is line up both of the um, what's it called the the white cutouts behind the original or the top layer cutout and then we're like it doesn't have to be super perfect and then we're gonna nudge one to the left and then take another cutout and then nudge the other one to the right and then of course you can adjust, like as you can see, the top of my head doesn't have the stroke, so we can move one of them upward. And the reason why we do two is because, you know, sometimes when you just, when you're only working with one cutout, you know, it won't cover like the entire, you know, top image. Um, that's why we have the left and the right side so that we have that coverage. Because before I used to like make one cutout and then make it slightly bigger than the original photo. Um, and sometimes it worked, um, but there was just a lot of times where like the, the thing didn't align right. But yeah, so this is the white outline. And I think it'll just look so good. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. So now we have a really cool image of ourselves and we like memed ourselves on a sticker and we can add it every time. Like, let's say you're doing a reel on like maybe some either like celebrity gossip or, you know, or something like a, <laughs> like a story that has happened to you in the day. You can just pop in the sticker like, oh, it's tea time, y'all. Sit down. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, so now looking back, we have four stickers and then now we have two more. We are going to, uh, what are we going to do? Honestly, we are going to duplicate from page. Honestly, I'm just duplicating the page just to keep the background. Now we're going to move into our more text based or like template based, shape based stickers. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but right now we are going to click on the text lockups again and then we are going to go into I think was it logos I'm not I not exactly too sure give me one second was it logos or was it phrases I think it was phrases <clears throat> but there are see there are so many different things that you can add as a sticker oh yes here we go so we're gonna work with this one but we are not gonna keep the tea theme, even though it seems really fun. I should do a tea themed stream or something like that. Um, that'd be fun, or a drink themed stream. Um, and then we're just going to make it, well, we're not gonna make it big, but we're just gonna do something like this. And then we're just gonna change the text. But first we're gonna ungroup all the assets because we need to see what we are working with here. So we have a shape, tea time, um, and then this is, the sh it's also two shapes underneath here, two little blobs. Okay, cool. So now we're going to change this. Let's make it, um, it's still summer, right? Let's do like a summer vibes kind of sticker, summer. 
And we'll change this to vibes, something like that. Um, and then we just get rid of this icon. And then now we're just going to rearrange the letters so that, you know, it fits on the canvas. And then I kind of like the slanty effect. Just gonna slant them like this. And then now we are going, oh, let's also make sure they are the same font size. So we have 371, this is 379. So we're going to do 371. And then, so this is looking pretty good. And then now we are going to actually, let's make it a tiny bit smaller. Cause I think we're, we're gonna pop back in the icon. So I'm gonna do this. And then going to, oops, grab the wrong thing. Going to grab the shape and kind of realign it back to cover the entire words. And then this will definitely take some trial and error, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Maybe we can do something like this. And there really isn't a strategy to this. It seemed like this text um, lockup had just random blobs underneath it. Um, and then just tried to make it work. <laughs> and we're gonna take the other blobby and we're gonna cover the other side. Some of these um, text templates are really clever. <laughs> like sometimes I think, wow, how did they get that really cool shape? And I think that's what inspired me to like work with this template because I was just super curious. I was like, how did they outline this entire phrase? So yeah, something like this is cool. It does not have to be perfect at all. Like I've spoke on this a little bit before in a past stream is if you think about the shelf life of a social media post, it's really short, especially a story, especially a reel. And so you have to kind of think of like when, when is the time to be nitpicky with some of these things? Because a lot of the time folks won't notice, like this won't, people will notice that this is like a, you know, a clean cut or something like that. Or like this R has like three lumps on the side, you know, like it's a, doesn't really people aren't really paying that close of attention and if they are then well that's their problem <laughs> um okay so now let's do some palm trees and i'm trying to get like better about my perfectionism as well and to just you know sometimes just let things go <laughs> Um, and if it's not perfect, that's totally fine. As long as, you know, the content is out, like it's more important to get the content out and to like make the thing and to spend endless amounts of time making it perfect. Okay, so here is kind of like the basic kind of sticker that we're going for. Now we're just going to jazz it up a bit by like switching out the colors. So brand color time. Let's do, let's go for a yellow. And then I think I'm gonna be breaking the brand rules a little bit, but there's a lot of colors that don't really go too well with, oh, I have to adjust the shadows, um, with the yellow. So like if I use the blue, it doesn't, the contrast doesn't really show up that well, maybe purple. I'm not sure, but anyways, we're just gonna go for like a dark, oh, we're gonna go for the dark teal today. The same color as this palm tree. And then we're going to do the same thing with the outline. <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing. gonna change the colors here and then also the color of the little blobs and then for this we're going to make this 
the brand color and then I want to add actually it would this would look better or look cooler with a second color underneath so let's do like a pop of orange All right, so there we go. Another sticker done in the books. And now we're going to work on another one. This will be the last one for today's class. Let's see how fast we can get it. <laughs> we still have a little bit of time. Um, so this one, I'm going to grab a arch shape. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I was actually inspired by an enamel pin for this one. Um, okay. So I'm going to add this and then I'm going to add a border around it. Let's do like a lighter white this time. And make it kind of big. And then I am going to add in some text. So let's do, <sighs> okay. So I want to add text around here, like this archway right here. But now that I think of it, I'm kind of like, I'm not the best with aligning stuff. So let's, oh, here's one. Let's just grab one from here. Actually, yeah, let's just grab one from here. Let's let's work smarter, not harder today. Um, so, <laughs> and we're just going to work from this template. Um, so let's do something like this. And then I don't really like the shape. I just want the straight arch. So I'm just gonna ungroup everything. Um, and then let's just do, oh, interesting. Interesting shape, okay. Then I'm just going to replace it with the arch that I want. So this will be super fun. I think this one's a little bit long too. Just gonna put it on top right here. I'm gonna put it underneath like so. Love this. Now that now we have the text. <laughs> the what's it called? The arch text that we want. I'm gonna fix it up a little bit, just a tiny bit. Oops. Okay. And then now, okay, that's centered to the text. Okay. Now we're going to add in a border and that looks pretty good. Okay. So, oh, this can actually be a little, a little bit longer. Let's give a little bit of some space. Okay, and then now I am going to just change the text here just by clicking on it. And then I want it to say something really fun. And one of the things I love saying is like, you are your own secret sauce. So that, that was the inspo for this. I was also, I might have, I'm, I may or may have not also been eating, um, uh, what's it called? Or no, not eating, thinking about in and out when I was making this sticker and I was thinking about the the in and out sauce that goes on the animal fries. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> your own secret. And then last one, sauce. Sauce. Oops, I spelled, why did I, okay. Yeah, when I prepare for these streams, um, it's, let's just say I find inspiration anywhere <laughs> from food, from even past streams or like situations or things that have happened to me or so I, I find myself looking at a lot of packaging now, which was not a thing for me before. But like when I go into like Total Wine or something like that, I love looking at the packaging of like beer cans and bottles and stuff. I just think they look so so cool <clears throat> also in like asian stores too um in asian grocery stores i'll look at like the drink packagings um uh, okay we have some space here because it's not perfect like the the words aren't equal so oops sorry we're back in basic shape so i'm just going to add the sparkle again 
a reoccurring motif here. Um, I would too be inspired by a good sauce, fries and burgers. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't even eating it. I think, I think I, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but I was just thinking about in and out. Um, okay, we can also get rid of this shape. And then let's adjust this arch a little bit to fit the words. This looks pretty good. Okay, and then now let's group this and resize it together. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to add a, some imagery in the middle. Let's do like a sauce bottle, Seuss sauce bottle. Um, let's find something. There are so many different sauce <laughs> icons here. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the one. Yes, this is the one. So just gonna put it in the middle here. And then again, I kind of want to add a little bit more dimension. So I am going to just duplicate this and then do kind of like a little drop shadow effect. And don't worry about the colors. Trust the process. <laughs> don't worry about the colors. I mean, we could change the colors now, but I'm thinking like a good like yellow and red moment. You know, because ketchup and mustard. <laughs> um, let's do, let's go to orange. Let's bring it down to a little bit more of a, like a red orange. Oh, that is so fun. Oh my gosh, yes, we love it, we love it. Okay, and then now I am going to, we have a little bit of dead space here, so I'm going to fill it in with some more stars. Um, we could do like, um, maybe like, I saw a shooting star pattern last time and I thought it was cool. Shooting stars. Do we have anything? Okay, this one can definitely go in here. There was another one that I saw that was pretty fun. Let's see if I can find it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is fun too. All of these are so much fun. What the heck? Let's see. Oh my gosh, we're we're falling into the trap, y'all. We're doing the scroll. Um, the endless scroll. Okay. Let's try stars. Maybe in regular stars it'll be here. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe star. I can't remember what I did. Honestly, another tip that I have for Express save your search your search keywords like if you have certain assets that you like save save the keywords what you search for because for times like this where you're trying to find a specific asset that you randomly found or ran into or you're like i want to use this later um it'll be really helpful in that situation so we're going to do this and then i think Shooting stars. Okay, let's just pick one. We're just gonna pick one that kind of fits the other theme. Um, let's see. We can even honestly do this one and then just flip it. We'll see how that, oop, wrong thing. I duplicated the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to just do it the other way. It's not as nice, but I will show you the original sticker that I saw that I forgot, like the asset that I used for it. Um, but it was a fun like star sticker thingy. 
Um. <laughs> wow, I really wanna, or I could add, no, it. you know what? I'm going to add, let's do something. There was like another group of sparkles that I liked. I wasn't really loving that. Um, let's do. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Yeah, this will be fine. And it kind of blends in with the other sparkle right here, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we have this, and then now we're just gonna change more of the colors. So the teal, we're going to change. Let's make it orange. Like we're gonna make this thing super vibrant. We're gonna make this the same white as the border. And the reason why I'm not using the cream is because I just feel like we could use the go with the cream, but it's it doesn't pop as much as if I did the same off white as the border. So we're just gonna go to that. And so that is pretty much the sticker. Now we're just going to fix up the alignment just a little bit. Arch, come on. Let's just move it over. Make this a little bit smaller. And pretty much there you go. We have our last and final sticker for today. And then, so now once you have all your stickers ready, just download them, um, click all pages, PNG transparent background, and it'll just rip off all of the gray backgrounds here. And then um, actually save them on mobile. So save this project and then open Adobe Express on mobile and then you can download all of it um, to your camera roll and that's kind of like the trick. So I'm just gonna do, I, I really need to get like a little extension for my phone so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do a little story today. So I am going to just, yeah, I'm just going to record really quick. Everybody in chat say hello. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna do a little story. Okay, so let's go. Oh my God, I just got a little shy. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are on Adobe Live today. We are making some fun little stickers for Instagram reels and um, stories. So we have everyone in chat here today partying with us. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream. And that's pretty good. So now once I have the story, you can't see it, I have the story. You know what, let's switch to this one. So I have the little story here and then now to add the stickers, you just click on the little sticker tab and then import all of the stickers from the your camera roll. So here is what things look like i'm just going to pop it on right here so y'all can just see like this so you see the mini vlog up there we have the sips tea and we have the other sticker that we just made the you are your own secret sauce and with that that is the end of today's adobe express masterclass I hope you all enjoyed it, got some inspiration, got some value from the stream. And if you do make stickers for your stories or reels, please send them to me. I would love to see what all of you have made or post it in the Adobe Express Discord server or the Facebook group if you're in either of those. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's stream and stay tuned for the rest of the day for more masterclasses and more streams. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe to the Adobe Express um, YouTube channel for more masterclasses and tutorial content just like this. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.